Well, that didn't take very long now, did it? Windows Phone and Nokia are now available in the U.S. What's going on, guys? I'm Aaron from PhoneDog.com. We're probably going to see a lot of Windows Phone devices from Nokia coming to the U.S. Or, you know, U.S.-themed 4G devices most likely coming at CES. But that didn't stop them from releasing the Nokia Lumia 710 on T-Mobile. Now, we saw this thing at Nokia World in London. It's got some T-Mobile logos on it, but it's packing the same specs. It's got a 1.4 gigahertz single core Snapdragon processor. It's got a 3.7 inch display, a five megapixel camera, and more. Now this is a budget device, but for 50 bucks, you're like, hey, I can get a mid-range Android phone. I can get something that's pretty well packed in the feature department in the Lumia 710. So I imagine it'll sell pretty well on T-Mobile, but it's coming right up against CES. And the question is, can it hold its own, particularly when there are more exciting Windows Phone devices out there on the market? We'll find out in the unboxing, but some love to Best Buy Mobile first. When you go into Best Buy Mobile, you'll walk out working. They're going to help you set up your email, your web, your internet, your camera settings, and more. So when you walk out that door, you're good to go. They hook us up with so many phones for use in our One Paul Bandit game, like these ones over here on my bookshelf that we're getting ready to give out. So thanks to Best Buy Mobile. Let's take a look at this in the unboxing. Nokia Lumia 710. Is this a device to get? We'll find out starting right now. So we saw it at Nokia World way back in October, and now it's finally available in the States. The Nokia Lumia 710 coming to T-Mobile uh, soon, coming on, let's see if I can get you a date here. So I'm on January 11th, that's right, for uh, $49.99 after a $50 mail-in rebate, and it's going to be available in black or white. Now it comes in the typical T-Mobile box, and just to give you kind of a background here on the specs, 1.4 gigahertz single core processor, has a 3.7 inch WVGA uh, LCD display. You can see it's nice, uh, nice there with a little bit of a descriptive touch on the uh, on the sticker. So Wi-Fi, of course, 1,300 milliamp hour battery. You got eight gigabytes of internal memory. You got a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. That's pretty cool. And then in the box, you get a start guide, terms and conditions, product and safety information, keys for credit returns, and a micro SIM card because it does take micro SIM. So we'll keep that out for later. AC adapter module here, and then you got your USB cable. Those plug in together. When their powers combine, you get your charger. And we'll throw that back in the box and turn the device back on. So 1,300 milliamp hour battery, and up top you can see your USB, micro USB charging port, a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack, and then of course your power button. And then on the back, you've got your camera, 720p HD video recording, and it's a five megapixel shooter. So not too bad for a mid-range device. And of course, Nokia 710 written at the bottom. Now three physical Windows buttons here. Instead of being capacitive, you've got back, home, and search just like on a typical Windows phone device. A little bit of a small 3.7 inch display, but given this uh, market for this device, it's kind of budget entry point when it comes to Windows phone for 50 bucks, it's a pretty decent device. Now let's go ahead and press and hold and see if we can get this thing to power on. And it did vibrate, so there we go. Uh, volume rocker over here on the side, camera shortcut button over on the right side, and then like I said, nothing on the bottom, and then the stuff that I said before, power button, micro USB charging port, and uh, 3.5 millimeter headphone jack on top. Windows phone starting up now, and let's see if they were kind enough to put in a SIM card so we can use this. Yes, they were. T-Mobile 4G capabilities on this device. So you can access T-Mobile's HSPA Plus network uh, on this bad boy. And, of course, it comes with Mango out of the box. Now, also, applications, you get ESPN, you get Nokia Drive. You don't get Nokia Maps, and you don't get Nokia Music just yet. You do get Slacker Radio, Telenav, T-Mobile TV, Nokia's We Care application. So you do get at least the benefits of Nokia Drive for turn-by-turn Directions. Now let's take a look at messaging here because this is interesting. You know, 3.7 inch display is a little bit on the small side in comparison to today's, you know, 4.7 inches like on the HTC Titan and uh, 4.3 inches on the Droid Razor and more. So we're going to say the Quick Brown Fox is happy. Oh, whoa. you can see I'm clearly not used to 3.7 inch display. The Quick Brown Fox is happy to be alive. Quick Fox is happy to be alive. You have your emoticon shortcut, and again, quick and easy transition. So it's a fast device, you know, and really when you look at the price point, 50 bucks gets you a mid-range Android device or a mid-range Windows phone device. If fluidity is your thing, if you're looking for form, this is going to be a nice mid-range device to consider uh, on T-Mobile. So a nice little unit here. Let's take a look at web browsing as well. We'll go into uh, phonedog.com, and we'll go up to Internet. And we'll send the browsing history to Microsoft because we're pretty, we trust Microsoft, don't we? Come on now. PhoneDog.com loading up right now. No front-facing camera on this device or the Nokia Lumia 800, but the rumor is that we'll see some uh, new LTE-enabled uh, handsets at CES. So we'll take a look at that when we get there and see what we can do. So pinch to zoom, very responsive like any Windows phone device. Very easy to use, and of course the, uh, the navigation bar has been moved to the bottom, 
and then of course you can easily come down here and open up tabs. So you know, really looking at this device just based on performance, this is going to be the best $50 device you can get on T-Mobile. It performs well, it has a lot of features. Windows Phone 7.5 may not be quite up to the bad boys, you know, iOS and Android, but it's a nice experience. It's a really refreshing experience, and it does well. So. You know, again, for 50 bucks, you really can't go wrong with this as opposed to some cheap Android handset or, you know, something else, maybe a high-end flip phone or something. I think this is going to be a nice option for a lot of people that don't want to spend too much money on a smartphone but really want a decent performing device. This is going to be a good device for them. And, of course, you get some customizations like the ability to change the theme. We can come in here and change it to Mango, for example. Since this is Windows Phone 7.5, we need to celebrate, right? Change it over to Mango and boom, you're in business. Other stuff? Very similar over here, People Cub, People Cub, People Hub, sorry, and T-Mobile over here with your uh, voicemail down at the bottom, your uh, dial pad, contacts, and search all down there at the bottom. And you can really see how well this display looks. It is a WVGA display, but it does have Nokia's clear black technology, which is nice. Blacks are really black, just a beautiful looking display. Text is very crisp and easy to read. And uh, again, you know, I keep saying it, but for a $50 device, it really might be the best bang for the buck not only on T-Mobile, but on, on all the other carriers. I can't really think of a device maybe to captivate Glide on AT&T, but even for an Android device, it's 150 bucks right now. So really, you can't go wrong. For $49.99, this is a pretty decent device that I think a lot of people would be happy with. So HSPA Plus connectivity up to 14.4 megabits per second as well. You really can't go wrong. We'll do some more coverage, though, on PhoneDog.com and take a look and you know kind of compare this to some other mid-range devices to see if this is the one to have on T-Mobile. So keep it locked on the site for continuing coverage of the Nokia Lumia 710. Follow us on Facebook, facebook.com slash phone dog, or like us rather, because we're always doing cool giveaways and more. So check us out, facebook.com slash phone dog. Follow me on Twitter at uh, phone dog underscore Aaron, and on Facebook at facebook.com slash phone dog AB. And as always, stay tuned for more coverage on the mobile website of champions, phone dog.com. We'll see you next time.